أهلا بكم من جديد تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء بحضور حفل تخريج طابور عرض القائد البحري لمرشحي ضباط الكلية البحرية الملكية البريطانية والذي أقيم اليوم بمقر الكلية في منطقة دارتموث بالمملكة المتحدة فلدى وصول سمو حفظه الله كان في الاستقبال الكابتن جوليان ويدورد آمر الكلية البحرية الملكية البريطانية الذي رحب بسموه وبحضوره هذا الاحتفال وفي مستهل الحفل تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى نائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله بالتفتيش على طابور مرشحي ضباط الكلية البحرية الملكية البريطانية يرافقه الكابتن جوليان ويدوارد آمر الكلية البحرية الملكية البريطانية بعد ذلك استأذن قائد طابور العرض سموه ببدء الاستعراض العسكري وبعد انتهاء العرض تفضل صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء بتكريم الخريجين المتميزين
بعدها ألقى صاحب السمو الملكية الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله كلمة بهذه المناسبة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Deputy Lord Lieutenant, Admirals, Ladies and Gentlemen It is indeed a great honor to stand before you representing Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II at today's Lord High Admiral's Parade a signature event in the life of this college and in the lives of those who train here. To the newly commissioned officers, you have all been tested both physically and mentally over the past 30 weeks. From the parade ground to the classroom, from the wilds of Dartmoor to the expanse of the open sea, you have all met the challenges thrown at you, and for which you should now feel an immense sense of achievement and satisfaction. Congratulations to you all. You now move to the next phase of your training and ultimately your careers within your respected nation's naval forces. The challenges you'll face will be varied. They will often be complex. Once overcome, they will be incredibly rewarding. As officers, the responsibility to those under your command will be paramount. Armed forces demand strong, thoughtful, and considered leadership. You will often be required to make difficult decisions at a moment's notice and to provide motivational leadership at all times. Throughout, those under your care will look to you for instruction and for guidance. And your navies will depend upon you for the improvement of the collective, ensuring that talent and ability is both recognized and retained. Leadership will also demand that you place trust in and empower your senior ratings ensuring everyone is working at their optimum level. To Captain Woodard and all of the military and academic staff of this college who have instructed, coached, and mentored you, thank you. Uh, thank you all for the tremendous work and support you have offered to the cadets during their time at Dartmouth. To all the parents, family, and friends here today, I know very well the upswell of pride you will be feeling. My son commissioned from Dartmouth in 2015, and I, like you, watch the ceremony with an immense sense of joy. Their achievement here is hugely significant and to be forever remembered. The Royal Navy has a proud history. The oldest of the armed forces, the senior service has been at the forefront of Britain's global role for over four centuries. It is as relevant to the application of the UK's foreign policy and international engagement as it ever was. And arguably, its importance today, with all of the flux we are seeing in global affairs, is only making its role all the more essential. And its new carriers coming into operation will underpin the future of the UK Armed Forces power projection, which I believe is in the interests of all nations seeking a path to stability, peace, and prosperity. That you have all chosen to get your training from Britannia Royal Naval College speaks to the continued mark of excellence of the Royal Navy, and I know there is a great deal of pride held here in you undertaking your training at this college. I note there are upwards of 20 different nationalities represented here today, with officer cadets on parade from Bahrain, Albania, Egypt, Iraq, Lebanon, Singapore, Sri Lanka, and of the 152 officer cadets commissioning, there are representatives from Saudi Arabia, Fiji, Ghana, Kuwait, Malta, Bangladesh, Malaysia, Guyana, and the Bahamas. You undoubtedly have generated links with each other and within the Royal Navy that will endure throughout your careers. Speaking for the Kingdom of Bahrain, our own links with the Royal Navy span over 200 years. We are proud that these ties have been bolstered and strengthened with the establishment of its new naval support facility the Royal Navy's first overseas establishment for over 50 years. Navies serve as an essential component of any nation's security architecture. Through their monitoring and patrols, they can readily identify and neutralize threats and ensure that trade routes remain open and secure. They also stand ready to respond to conflict scenarios and humanitarian missions at a moment's notice. The challenges are real, your resolve is in no doubt. This is your time. Thank you all, and to say once more to those commissioning today, 
Congratulations. All my very best to you in your future naval careers. Thank you. هذا وقد حضر صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد نائب القائد الاعلى النائب الاول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفل الاستقبال الذي اقامه الكابتن جوليان ويدورد امير الكليه البحريه الملكيه البريطانيه على شرف سمو ولي العهد حيث التقى سموه خلاله بمجموعه من الخريجين المميزين وعدد من مرشحي الضباط الشباب وأشاد بالمستوى العالي لخريجي الكلية وبالبرامج والإمكانيات العلمية والتدريبية التي تقدمها الكلية البحرية الملكية كما هنأ سموه الخريجين شاكرا لهم جهودهم التي توجوها بهذا النجاح متمنيا لهم دوام التوفيق والنجاح